for the Jeepers Creepers Scarecrow. And it's made with PVC, one inch PVC. It's seven feet uh, tall about. And it's just one piece with a four-way PVC connector and two PVC arms. And then this cardboard is from the shipping container from or shipping carton from the 36 inch posable skeleton. And it's just taped to the PVC. The costume is an after Halloween. 75% off sale at Kmart uh, gauze zombie costume adult costume and I use the belt the rope belt to tie it at the bottom and give it a creepier look and it's gauze that's part of the um, costume and again a dreadlock wig just because it's stringy and you don't have to worry about it cowboy hat from Kmart a nice big one like a scarecrow hat the uh, skull is a plastic skull from Target this year and I used, in order to get his neck down or posed, I used two 45 degree PVC pieces to make his face point down and just drilled a hole in the uh, heavy plastic skeleton, or skull rather. And used a uh, steak light with a blue light because it's more like moonlight. And in a steak I got after Christmas sale at Myers. This is a PVC prop. It's an Emperor of Evil costume, adult costume. So it's about it's about five nine or five ten feet tall. And I also put an extra cape on it to fill it out. And the uh, weapon is from Walmart. Uh, the costume comes with a half mask, so that's why the mask looks like that. And the, it's a styrofoam wig head from a beauty supply store for about three bucks. And I took to cover up a little bit uh, black felt from the Walmart arts and crafts section and it's also PVC underneath a four-way cross shoulders 245s and then a straight piece a 45 degree elbow Darth Vader gloves and the fingers are made out of CPVC and rebar tie wire so they can be bent and they're cut in sections just like your finger is so it can grip and they're connected to the PVC with a PVC cap with holes drilled in it and the rebar tie wire is bent over so it doesn't come out just with a pair of needle nose pliers I also use some black safety pins uh, just to make sure that things stuck together and it's a three-quarter inch PVC that uh, just fits into that and it can rotate if you want it you could actually probably put fishing line and manually make his head move back and forth if you wanted um, there's the hardware mesh that's the same mesh that's used for the ice cube tray and the fog chiller and black duct tape because it's sharp on the edges it's um, 13 inches wide but around the shoulders it's 12 inches um, and it's uh, four feet long it's just wrapped over and there's a hole for the neck just put over and wrapped and that just gives it some form and you're able to tie a belt on him and secure it with safety pins and so then it's just the PVC tamped into the, or pushed into the ground and it's all held together with wood screws 3 8 inch I think number 6 or number 8 and a piece of rebar 2 foot rebar um, holding it up 
This is the other one on the other side, it's a Grim Reaper. So he's put together the same way, only um, the mask is different and the mask has fading eyes. Now he fell over with just the rebar because the ground isn't completely flat and the wind got him. And his, uh, I extended the uh, plastic Sith from the Halloween store with about a six foot uh, piece of half inch uh, PVC spray painted with a Krylon uh, camo paint and I think that made him tip over but underneath is our two uh, glasses from uh, fade in fade out phantom costume and it's hooked up into a battery pack the switch on it so he lost his other eyepiece when he fell otherwise they'd both be red and it's a spirit Halloween mask and again it's just a uh, styrofoam wig head with three quarter inch PVC as a neck into the four way connector um, and then the 45 degrees for the shoulders inside the hardware mesh there's a um, on the spine there's a black duct tape that's holding a uh, speaker that uses this remote control and he makes sounds you just click on it and it sounds like he's making sounds that we had in the bushes last year it was a big hit it just cycles through the sounds the best one uh, was from Kmart about six or seven sounds And the kids like it, and I like it too. It's a neat sound effect. These are extra long gloves from the Halloween USA, and again, it's the bendable rebar tie wire and sections of the CPVC uh, just cut according to your own fingers, and so they can hold props. So when I'm working on them, I got a six dollar Christmas tree stand at uh, Target and when you're working on it that's how uh, it stands up so since it fell over with the rebar in the wind I propped it up that way and propped his hand on the uh, fence and that worked out fine he stayed up and I put a piece of black tarp uh, to hide the stand now the size, you go to zombietronics.com, you enter the height of the prop you want to make and it calculates the width of the shoulders, the upper arms, the forearms, and the spine, and the legs if it had it. You just add that to that in one piece of PVC and that's how you get a prop that looks somewhat human. And it, the Emperor of Evil one did fool a couple kids into thinking that it was a person just standing there pretending to be a prop. So it did work. Light, sound, and fog, and props are pretty much what make Yard Haunt display work.